On this video, I'm planning to explain one-sided limit. One-sided limit, when you approximate the number, for, if you remember, we were getting closer to 1 from the positive side. From the positive side, we were getting closer and we were getting closer to on the x-axis from the negative side. When you get closer from the positive side, right-hand limit of at x0 for the x0 point at 1 for our point here I choose 1 and when you get closer from the negative side of the 1 left hand limit of at x0 and here the x0 value I choose 1 so this is one negative side this is one positive side what does one positive mean one positive means approximately 1.0001 which is very close number to 0 one negative means from the negative side of 1, very close number to 0 again, 1, approximately 0 .0, pardon, 0 0.99 can be. 0 0.99 can be. Okay. Now, let me explain on the graph what is it. Now we are going to get closer to values, but when you get closer to values, especially for the piecewise functions, when you get closer from the left side and when you get closer from the right side, you are getting different values. Especially here, 2 is important. 2, when you get closer to 2, as you see here, when I get closer to 2 from the negative side, this side means 2 negative. When I get closer, the function is getting closer to this value. This value, when I check, it is equal to 3. So, limit 2 from the negative side is... 3 is equal to 3. Limit from the positive side, I'm going to check. Limit 2 from the positive side. When you get closer, you see here, this point is chosen. When the point is here, the y value is here. When the point is this point, which is getting closer, more closer to 2 from the positive side, this 2 plus means number greater than 2. And function is getting closer to this value. What is that value on the x-axis? 5. Okay. Now I'm getting closer to 5. <clears throat> when you get closer to 5 from the negative side, this is 5 negative. This side is called 5 negative side. When you get closer, the function is getting closer to this value. Okay. This is equal to on the y-axis I'm getting 2. So the limit value at that point is equal to 2. Okay, I'm choosing 5 positive. What does 5 positive means? From the right side of the 5, you get closer to 5. And the function is getting closer to this value. The limit value is the function value. What is the y, y value? That is the limit value. And it's going to be equal to, again, 2. When you get closer to 6, I forget 1 from the negative side. 1 from the negative side only. As you see, we are not checking for all positive and negative side always. When I get closer to 1 from the negative side, you see this number is getting closer to y value on the x on the y axis 2. So it's equal to 2. Okay, now I'm going to check 6 from the negative side. Now, this is 6 negative. 6 negative means smaller than 6. And when you get closer, the function value is getting closer to 3. Function value is getting closer to this value. Now I'm checking 6 positive. 6 positive, when I try to check the graph, I couldn't find any graph value. So it means that 6 positive undefined. Because there's no graph here. Okay. Let me try to explain here. Again, I'm getting closer to this value. Because it says that find the limit for the x is equal to minus 2, x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, and x is equal to 2. Now, 
one-sided limit means I'm going to find limit limit x tends to minus 2 from the negative side fx is equal to what or this is the first one or I'm going to check limit x tends to minus 2 from the positive side fx we can find also limit x tends to <coughs> minus 1 from the <coughs> negative side limit x tends to minus 1 from the positive side fx is equal to what okay Now we are going to find these values. Here, if I get closer to 2 from the negative side, 2 from the negative side, sorry, I'm putting my pen on the graph and I'm getting closer to 2 value on the y axis, on the x axis. On the x axis, when I get closer to 2, 2 from the positive side, pardon, negative side, this is. 2 from the negative side. When I get closer to 2 from the negative side, I recognize that I'm getting closer to 0. So, it's equal to 0. Minus 2, negative 0. Okay. Now, I'm getting closer to 2 from the minus 2 from the positive side. Here. It's going to be like this. I'm getting closer to 2 from the positive side. This is 2 positive. It's going to be. And the y value, again, it is zero so it's going to be equal to zero now i'm getting closer to one minus one from mine for the minus one i'm getting closer from this side and the value is getting closer to the value is getting closer to one on the y-axis so it's equal to one and this is one one positive this is minus one negative this is minus one positive side i'm getting closer to minus one on the y-axis as you see here and the y value is getting closer to zero is getting closer to zero y value always i'm checking the y value here it's equal to zero as you see okay zero from the positive zero from the positive side zero from the positive side means this one zero from the positive zero from the positive side okay i'm getting closer zero from the positive side but zero positive is here on the graph the on the graph the value is getting closer to minus one zero negative the graph is getting closer to minus one again okay now one negative one negative one negative the function is getting closer to this value which is equal to one and i forget here to write fx pardon this is equal to zero sorry the function is getting closer to this value so it should be zero it should be equal to zero okay when i get closer from this side as you see it's going to be equal to one the y value because it's equal to one which side it is one positive this is two negative this is two positive two positive i'm going to start with two positive is zero again two negative is zero again okay here at this point I'm going to explain the uh, existence of limit when the limit exists if left sided limit is equal to right sided limit then limit exists if left sided limit is not equal to right sided limit then the limit doesn't exist 
here when you get closer to this value x1 from the smaller value x1 negative x1 negative this is x1 negative is going to get closer to a limit limit x1 uh, from the x tends to x1 from the negative side x tends to x1 from the negative side fx is equal to a limit x tends to x tends to x1 from the positive side fx when i get closer you can see here it's getting closer to b so for this one we are going to use limit doesn't doesn't exist or l d e limit doesn't exist for the other point x2 when you get closer you see here to this one and to this one limit x tends to x tends to x2 from the positive side fx is equal to c it's getting closer to c limit x tends to limit x tends to x2 from the from the negative side fx as you see here from the negative side this side is the negative side pardon this side is the positive side it's getting closer to c again again it is c so here limit exists limit exists and the limit value limit x tends to x1 is x tends to x2 sorry fx is equal to c here limit doesn't exist and we don't have any limit value here limit exists huh. left-sided limit there is right-sided limit there is but the values are different that's why limit doesn't exist left-sided limit there is right-sided limit there is the values are same so limit exists and the limit value is that value same value <laughs> on this graph now we are going to find the limit exists or not here we are getting closer to minus 3 from the negative side. You are getting closer to minus 3 from the negative side. And this is 3 minus side. Minus 3 minus side actually it is. The value is getting closer to 1. So the well function value is there 1. This value. The function value is here. It's not written but probably it's going to be equal to 3. So limit from the positive side 3 from the positive side 3 from the positive side means this one here it's going to be equal to 3 so limit doesn't exist why because left sided limit is not equal to right sided limit that's why limit doesn't exist okay minus 2 i'm getting closer to minus 2 from the when I get closer from here, the function is getting closer to this point. So when I get closer to this point, from this point, it's getting closer to this one. And both of the values are getting closer to you see here on the y-axis is equal to 2. So I'm going to write from the negative side it is 2. From the positive side it's equal to 2. Limit exists. What is the limit value here? Limit extends to 2 not positive and not negative side fx is equal to 2 it's going to be negative side can be a different number positive side can be a different number then limit doesn't exist but if they are all both of them same it means that there is a limit limit exists and it's going to be the value left-sided and right-sided okay when we get closer to minus 1 from the negative side minus 1 negative the function is getting closer to 3. So minus 1 negative is equal to 3. When we get closer to minus 1 from the positive side, minus 1 plus is again 3. So left sided limit is equal to right sided limit. Limit exists and extends to minus 1. Fx is equal to 3. The others, homework for you.